Gemini. Welcome to February. So last month when I came back from my hiatus, I did your readings with a lot of extra information in there. You know, what is our color energy, our power crystal? Um, which chakra do we need to focus on, you know, for our highest good to make this the best month possible for us? And I do want to still give you that information, but I wanted to keep these readings a little bit shorter because I also want to do this month a um, love reading because it's Valentine's Day. And then also... Uh, yeah, so that's why. So anyway, I will get that information to you. I don't know if I'll make another video, if I'll send that out by email, or I'll post it on Facebook, but you can look forward to still getting that information. It's just not going to be in this video, with the exception of your luckiest and unluckiest days of the month, because I think that's important to know right away in case it's in the beginning of the month. So for Gemini, your unluckiest day is the 4th, and your luckiest day of the month this month in February is the 7th. So what's going on for Gemini in February? Okay, so you might not have um, a lot of enthusiasm coming out of your mouth. Like the way that you're communicating things is not necessarily a vibe of excitement. And what they're saying is that a lot of the reason why is because you're not feeling super confident. You're not feeling super thrilled or excited. You might feel a little bit confused as to what it is that you want and which direction you're headed. It's like the details of your goals and pursuits are just foggy. Um, you might have a broad general sense of, you know, what's important to you and what do you, what you want to accomplish this month, but the details haven't worked themselves out. And it's kind of this energy of like, I don't know how much choice I actually have in a lot of matters. It's like, okay, well, you know, the universe is handling this this way, or, you know, um, other people are affecting this or that. And this is kind of depressing you. So your goal is actually going to be this month to try to find that fire and get that back. What it's saying is that, um, you know, you feel like things are not taking momentum in the direction like you want them to go. And like you can't leap forward towards your ambitions or goals. And part of the reason is because, you know, they're not super focused. But what they're saying is you've really got to get back in touch with your passion. Um, it says passion and adventure beckon. What is exciting to you? What is going to be fun for you? Where do you feel like you can get a thrill or um, find some sort of enthusiasm to achieve those things that you want in your life? And so I'm going to pull some affirmations here for you in order to help you get through that energy. And they're saying actually a lot of the um, answers to this can be found in music. So if you kind of just close your eyes and you sit silently before you listen to music, you can pick up on certain instruments or certain sounds within a song and just focus on that. It's a form of meditation. And as you're doing that with a super focused energy, epiphanies might just occur. So, um, Give it your full attention. And then as you go out, go on throughout your day, if you get a song stuck in your head, notice what part of that is um, playing over and over. I'll just give you a silly example is during a stressful time in my life, I kept hearing that song, um, every little thing is going to be all right. And I don't actually particularly like that song. So I knew that it was a angel message. This is called Clear Audience. It would just pop up in my head out of nowhere all the time. And so then... Um, I just, in my head, kindly ask my angels, like, hey, thanks for the message. Could you change the song, though, to something uh, just as motivating, but that I like better? And I, I can't remember exactly what they switched it to. It might have been Pharrell's, I'm so happy, you know, something like that, to kind of pump me up so I could feel better and more positive about the changes I was experiencing to get through them. And so th those are the kind of things that you want to pay attention to. Like, what is the lyric in the song that keeps replaying? And how is that to your benefit? What are your spirit guides trying to tell you? Um... They say that, you know, within the month of February, you want to assess your relationships because your relationships are going to play out um, 
as not only for your like emotional health, but your physical health because of the mind body connection. And so I want you to notice how one hand is giving to another a gift. Are you giving enough to other people? Are you open to receive gifts and blessings and love from other people? And looking at that saying, you know, does this relationship benefit me? Are we both getting something from this? Is this healing me? Or is this harming me? And if your relationship is, you know, something good for you, then you want to celebrate that. You want to send those text messages out to your friends or your siblings and say, hey, I really appreciate that you're in my life. And um, I just wanted to make a point of letting you know that. Uh, because this is something we're celebrating. And oftentimes, you know, those kind of friends and things like that, will pop back up just at the moment that we need them and they might come to us with some insight or help us to refine those passions that we're just not vibing with right now. Um, and then also, you know, if a relationship, if you do this kind of assessment and you go, hmm, it's not for me, it's depleting my energy, like this person is an energy vampire, then you know it's time to just kind of like cut that out. And maybe by cutting that out, you're opening up a space in which you can discover uh, a new passion or a new drive, a new motivation, something else to look forward to. You know, the keys to happiness are something to do, something to love, and something to look forward to. And this is a part of the reason why you might not be feeling 100% amazing this month is what is it you're looking forward to? What is it that you love if it's not a person that you love? So, um, deep thoughts. <laughs> anyway, I look forward to speaking with you more about your love readings and then to give you all of those extras about the month of February very soon. Bye. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!